Hey everyone, Paul Stevens here from lunchhourweb.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add your social media accounts to a header bar in Zoho Sites. Stick around, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to add the social media icons to our site is just log into Zoho. You're going to go to access your apps, click on sites, then edit site. Up here at the top, you'll notice you have some themes, manage site options, page options. What we're going to go to the site options tab and show site social icon excuse me from here you're going to notice that all these different social icons are available to you uh, from our previous videos we know we've signed up for Twitter and this is one that I definitely use so we're gonna type in twitter.com slash your um, username and if you aren't sure what that is just bring up another browser log into your Twitter account click on yourself or in the upper right hand corner or over here on the left and then just copy that little address bar right there that's gonna go right here we're gonna paste this in you also have LinkedIn Google Plus Pinterest YouTube and others we do have an Instagram account but as you notice from the last video I don't really want to direct people there it's just in case I'm found on Instagram someone can go then and reach out to me on Twitter so even though I signed up for Instagram I'm not gonna include it on this page just for that reason I'm not using it I don't want to direct their pe people there just to direct them back to Twitter so let's go ahead and next add the YouTube link so just jump over to YouTube go to my channel on the left hand side you can also click on your icon up there and until you have 100 subscribers you won't get a custom link right there so obviously one day I'd like to change it to lunch hour web youtube.com slash channel slash lunch hour web I don't have enough subscribers yet you guys can help me out with that so I'm just gonna copy this direct link right here and paste it in the YouTube section save and now you'll show that see that it shows up right here click there to edit and we have it we can you know do further edits if indeed well let's go ahead and set in Our email as well and you notice know, so there's that little mail to at the beginning let me go and copy that just so I can uh, show you if I delete it, it says mail to your email ID at your domain.com so I'm gonna put in mail to Paul at lunch web.com and save so now I have a web there once this is looking good I can go ahead and publish and what you always want to do is you want to check out these links using uh, to make sure that none of those are broken so let's go ahead and bring up our site after we published and you'll now see we have these little social media icons right here if I click on Twitter it brings up to my account Twitter account that's working let's go to YouTube it brings up our uh, the YouTube channel with the uploads and then also lastly the email and that one let's go ahead and I don't think I've signed up for any mail services it's looking like it's gonna work it's gonna bring up your default mail program I don't have any default mail program set up on here I may uh, have a future video of sign up for uh, Thunderbird or Outlook or some other mail client but that link looks like it's working uh, if you have another uh, computer that does have a mail program installed check it on that check it on your phone wherever you need to now that we have our little social media header bar up here I'd also like some social media down here in the footer so if someone comes to the bottom of my page say they're reading a blog post post excuse me the home page the about page any page I want them to also see my social media link so they can contact me that way we can do that by coming over to the apps tab and dragging in Twitter what this is going to do is going to have a Twitter snippet code and it says copy and paste your Twitter's widget snippet code from twitter.com you can access it here this is going to bring up uh, our widgets. You can also get to this on Twitter by going to your profile settings, settings, 
down here to widgets. And from here we can create a new widget. Let's go ahead and create one for our profile. And it's gonna ask us for our Twitter. So HTTPS twitter.com slash lunch our web. And of course you're gonna put in your own Twitter username. And here you can have an embedded timeline or Twitter buttons. I don't want to embed my timeline here. This is going to show you diff recent posts that I put on Twitter. Instead, I'm going to add this tweet, Twitter buttons. I'm going, to, I'm going to actually add both the follow button and the mention button. I'll show you what those do. So first, let's embed the follow button. I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to go back to Zoho Sites. I'm going to paste the code. So it's going to tell this to follow launch our web. And if I have a visitor come to my site, they're logged into Twitter, they can click that button, and it's gonna now add them to my list of followers. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add another Twitter one, and jump back to the Twitter Publish tab. This time I want to tweet and mention, copy that code, so I'm doing both here, and paste it. So now people can tweet me as well from inside. So they click here. When they click on this, it's going to open up a little box and have at lunch hour web. Then they can post whatever they want. So if they want to mention something to me from my website, they want to post a, twi a tweet to me uh, directed at me, they can do it from here as well. So let's go ahead and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add that um, embedded timeline to my sites as well. I'm going to do that on the sidebar. So I'm going to go to page options, show sidebar on this page. And I'm going to, again, from the apps, excuse me, go from the elements, forms, apps tab. I'm going to drag the Twitter app into the sidebar. So I'm going to insert this Twitter snippet code, embedded timeline, and copy that code. Really simple paste it, and add. And what you'll notice that what it does is it adds recent tweets from me uh, that I posted. You'll notice a lot more on here, all my tweets, you can load more tweets or less tweets as time goes on. This can be controlled on each page individually. So let me save. So on my homepage, I'm gonna have the social icon at the top. I'm gonna have my Twitter icons at the footer. I'm gonna have my recent tweets. On my about page, I, I let's say I do or do not want that, that sidebar. I can go to page options and show sidebar on this page to make it show up, or I can hide the sidebar on this page. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that on my about page. The blog page, you know, this is from a previous video. The, the sidebar shows our categories and tags. And if you keep scrolling down, it's also now going to show our tweets. If I don't want any of those, I can go here and hide the sidebar on this page as well. Okay, so now we're back at our home page. Last thing we need to do is just publish and I'll make our site active. All right, our site is now live. We can go over open it up, refresh, and now we should see our social media icon set at the top. We have our tweets along the right hand side, and we have some subscribe buttons down at the bottom. I am gonna modify those a little bit later, clean up my header, just some more going forward, put in some text and other items, but that can be done another time. Also probably show you how to embed maybe a link, quick link video, I'm sorry, quick link to YouTube or um, uh, some other common footer items. Again, that'll be in a super future video. Okay, guys, I hope that was very helpful for you. And if you liked it, obviously subscribe, like, and comment below. Have a great day, guys. Take care.